up, guys? It's your boys of Wokey back with another Funko Pop video. And finally, the next Funko Pop for Marvel Collector Court box has arrived. And it is Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I'm super excited because these guys, well, one, you most of the time get a t-shirt in here. There's Funko Pops. There's stickers. There's tons of stuff in here to enjoy. And it, 90, I would say 100% of the time, the stuff that's inside this box is actually more than the value of it when you guys actually buy it. But with that being said, with you guys watching, we're about to take a look at the co contents of this box but with an unboxing and review. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, and we take a look at what's inside this box and why you need to get it for your collection. Take a look. If you guys are new to my channel because you're returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting the white bar icon down at the bottom right. Smack the bell icon next to it so I do post videos like this one. You'll get that little ring notification that Wolke myself has posted that video. And then you, then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you so very much for the love and support that you guys show on this channel every single day. Keep doing what you guys are doing and we'll continue to grow into 2023. That being said, we're going to get right into this box because I want to see what's in it and also what the next box will be as well. Um, the cool thing about this is obviously you get usually two Funko Pops or a big Funko Pop. Usually it's a Pez dispenser, a sticker, a pin, a t-shirt. Um, they have said in the past that t-shirts come every other box, but lately, for the past, I think, like year or two, it's been every single month you've been getting a t-shirt, which is kind of nice because I like the front, their, their t-shirts because they're definitely high quality. And usually, 100% of the time, these Funko Pops that are in here outweigh the price of this box, which is $29.99, Amazon exclusive. Link is down in the description for this box for you guys to pre-order. You guys can get previous boxes as well. So if you guys want to get some of those other boxes that have come out before, I would definitely get them because those Funko Pops are definitely high valued. So, and of course with Black Panther Wakanda Forever doing as good as it did, or I shouldn't say that. People were upset about certain things, but I don't think that they should have been upset about it. But this Wakanda Forever movie was definitely a amazing, beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman. And obviously seeing the new Black Panther, Shuri, it was definitely a good, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the woman Black Panther. Some people are kind of on the fence about it. I understand, but I definitely enjoyed it. Um, so if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. But let's take a look at what's inside said box right now. So we're going to unbox it. If you need to use a scissors or a knife, please use or have a parent help you. There's a t-shirt. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the t-shirt right here because I'm going to put it on. So obviously it's going to be Black Panther themed. It looks like it's not just one character. It looks like ooh, Mbaku is on there. We got Shiri Nakia and we got Shiri. So that is the, their Funko Pop shirts are actually getting even better and better by the by the, each box. So you guys can see Mbaku, Nakia, um, ok Okoye, and Shuri is on here. I'm surprised I still remember their names. Uh, <laughs> but you guys can see right here, again, Wakanda Forever shirt. I wish I had this before the movie came out so I could wear this to the movie um, because finding a Black Panther shirt was definitely very hard to buy. Plus, I was wearing my necklace that I had right here. I wore this necklace, my Wakanda Forever necklace which was definitely pretty dope um but again i'm going to put this on uh so let's put it on so that is the shirt definitely loving the shirt you guys can see right here ah, the shirt if i get up and close to personal beautiful shirt love the shirt love the colors i'm definitely interested that they didn't choose like a purple instead of a green like i mean black panther was is gold um and black now and purple and it's like why did they do that but it definitely loved the green on there so i'm not upset about this shirt at all i would definitely i'm a bigger guy obviously um these don't shrink very much they don't do it i would say all my shirts pretty much still fit besides the venom one but that was a different type of shirt than this one um i would definitely go a little bit bigger if you normally fit larges i would go to an extra large if you normally fit extra large i would go to a 2xl i mean i'm an extra large guy 
and this is an extra large and it fits me perfectly and when I wash them they don't shrink so take it as you will um, kind of thing um, of what kind of shirt size you want so um, next up is going to be interesting for the next box um, <coughs> we have Shuri in her purple track suit you guys can see right there loving the sticker I kind of would like to have a Black Panther instead of this um, of just her normal jumpsuit or have like Ironheart people did not like Ironheart I don't know why I enjoyed it I mean we can't it, she will never live up to the name of Tony Stark Iron Man but the Iron Heart suit I actually enjoyed it it looked a little I wouldn't say cartoony but it looked too like fresh I feel like it could have been battered up a little bit but I enjoyed it so hopefully there's an Iron Heart pop in here um, but I probably guessing it there's not so uh, but you guys get a sticker. Um, I didn't see a pin. The pin is in here somewhere. I just oh, here it is. It is Umbaku. Umbaku pen. You guys can see right there. Umbaku. He's an awesome character. I love that. I love that character. So, um, so we have the T-shirt. We have the decal. We have the pin. And now we have two Funko Pops. I'm interesting. Um, so the first one we're going to take a look at is Ao. Ao. You guys can see right here. I'm not. I'm not saying anything bad about the character, but I was hoping for a little bit more. I mean, it could have been cool to see like a Koye in her um, that one iron suit kind of thing that she had or whatever have you but we get AO and then I'm going to type on the actual website itself which is a pop price guide which categories is you guys' um, collection so if I go here and I go to my stuff and I take a look at my collection to the dashboard it works nope that is not it collection management orders nope um, collection management nope that's not it hold on so in the top right corner, you'll see this little doohickey thing, which is your name. You just go to showcase, and then it's going to show you all your Funko Pops, your value of how many Funko Pops, or the value of your Funko Pop collection. How many Funko Pop collection? It's a great website to use. I use it highly uh, because, one, it's free. Um, two, it keeps your, your collection together. So if you ever want to sell it or increase it more or see where things are going, up and down sort of like that um, you can see it on here with obviously the passing of JDF Jason David Frank you guys can see here the white Ranger Funko Pop has gone up significantly okay um, it says 4% but this used to be like a, a $12 pop and now it's 135 with his passing which I will never give away my Funko Pop of Jason David Frank um, also my Stein stuff never gonna happen but what we're going to do is we're going to use this. We're going to type in the number, um, which is 1121. Type in new for the new database. Whoop. And we'll see the actual value of this pop. So right now, this one, I guarantee with it being not as high in demand, it is just going to be $15. So it's half of the box already. T-shirts normally between $15 to $20. So you're pretty much already almost made the Funko, or you've you pretty much made the bo box itself. The sticker is normally $5. Pin is normally 3 to $5. So you've already gained more value in the box itself than what you paid. So that's why I keep saying these boxes are fantastic. And I'm not being sponsored by anyway. Also make sure that the sticker is on the Funko Pop itself because that can make or break the actual value of the Funko Pop. But then like it right here, I will add to collection and then I will add it to my database of my Funko Pops that I have on my account. So eventually um, it will update and you guys can see it go from here of when I pretty much started um, almost three years ago up to here of how much. Plus that is not just the value of the Funko Pops increasing. I've been buying significantly more Funko Pops over the years. So um, last but not least, the last Funko Pop um, obviously that's in here is the Black Panther herself. I was hoping for not to be in the same position that her other version is, um, which is her donning her helmet. It would have been cool to see like a Namor and a Black Panther like movie moment. 
we haven't had a movie moment for Marvel in quite a long time besides um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness with him being Zombie Strange and Scarlet Witch. I want one for this. Hopefully, we'll get one eventually, but it would have been cool to see it in this box. We haven't had a movie moment for our, the Collector Core box for quite a long time. So, But you guys can see right here, I guarantee this one's going to be at least a $30 pop. But if we click it into the database, type in 1122 for the database. Come on. Hmm, interesting. It is $15, but even though these Funko Pops, with it being... Black Panther, uh, Shuri version, and the other Funko Pop, $30 and just Funko Pop, okay? T-shirt, 15 to $20, so you're pretty much over about $30 to $40, give or take, of said box. So a great value. I definitely am very um, happy about the box. I wouldn't say it's my favorite box because I think they could have done other Funko Pops. They could have had Umbaku in here. They have another movie moment. Ironheart in here with her helmet off. It could have been different, but I'm not going to be too upset about it. So with that being said, the next thing you guys want to know is going to be the next box, which will be coming out every other month. So not coming out in December 28th, but January 28th, this new box will be coming to you if you subscribe to their service. You can cancel at any time, um, which I, and you can also postpone one, which I kind of was upset that I did this, but I postponed Eternals because I didn't really know much about Eternals, but it would have been cool to have their shirt, but you can postpone a month or two here and there, um, which is kind of cool. Instead of canceling it, you can postpone or not get one for the month that you decide not to get one. Um, but the next one is going to be Spider-Man No Way Home. I thought they did one, but it was Spider-Man um, and the... Uh, multiverse the one that we just took a look at not too long ago so it's kind of interesting that almost what two years later um we get this funko pop uh no way home i'm hoping for epic funko pop hopefully knock on wood we'll get a movie moment but i guarantee it won't be um but definitely excited to see what is inside the spider-man uh no way home funko pop including the t-shirt because i love the t-shirt so Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing of this video. Definitely comment down below if you guys did pre-order it or if you guys are interested in it. Do you think you guys need it? Comment your guys' thoughts. Or also like the video because it definitely helps out the channel immensely when you guys do so. Plus, it's free. And then don't forget to check out the link in the description to get your subscription started as soon as possible. Again, thank you guys for watching. I surely appreciate all of you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time.